Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and this is a happy place to hang out and do nails. Today I'm unboxing my very first order from eNail Couture Canada. I'm excited to share with you what I got and stick around till the end for a cute set. Please like and subscribe and let's jump right into it. I showed the box because everything was packaged really well and the first thing I pull out is a diamond sorting tray that's in the shape of a heart and it actually comes with three. They're all just kind of inside each other like Russian dolls. I was happy that they had the ridges on both sides. It just means that I have a lot of little sorting trays now. The cool thing about these is that you pour your gems in, you shake it up a bit, and most of them will flip over to the right side, and then they'll all be lined up and easy to grab. So definitely worthwhile for me in terms of, you know, maybe blinging out my nails a little bit more. Next up is a four pack of liner brushes. I was really happy with the quality of these. They are weighted nicely. They're not too light or flimsy. I think it'll be easy to have good control when I'm using them. I'm also really happy that they come with a cap. This one is the tiniest detail brush and I'm so happy. I think this is really gonna help me along my creative nail journey to have good quality really fine liner brushes. I also picked up this blender brush and I kind of realized that I had already gotten a blender brush in the last brush that I got. So I took it out to compare. The Enel Couture one is bigger. I kept touching them to see if there was a difference, but they felt almost exactly the same to me, just the size was different. I got something called the Baby Kit, which came with this monomer and three tiny acrylics. The monomer was especially well wrapped. I could still smell it though, through all of this. It's cotton candy scented, which is pretty cool. It definitely has a really sweet candy scent, but it kind of just lives over top of the monomer smell. Right now, I'm just trying to decide if I want to actually like open it and use it, which of course I decide I'm going to. So that baby kit came with three colors, glass pink, eternal beige, chrome white, and separately, I picked up a glitter acrylic called Cherry Pink. So we're going to swatch all of them. But first, I got a new monomer dish. And it's so pretty. Like, the color is so nice. I was so happy when I opened it. The one thing that made me scratch my head about this order was the box that this dish came in because it's clearly like a wholesale candy dish and I don't really understand why Enail wouldn't have rebranded <laughs> that product. I don't know. I think I'm going to need some time to get used to the smell of this because I find the candy perfumed part to be a bit overwhelming. I kind of like the smell of monomer on its own, so I probably don't need a scented product. The first swatch is glass pink, and it's a very subtle tinted pink clear shade. I think it'll be nice for mixing with glitters and things like that. Next up is Eternal Beige, which leans a little bit more on the warmer side and is like a creamy nude color. It's really quite beautiful. Mm -hmm. 
And the last one from this kit is called Chrome White. Not really sure why it's called Chrome White. I thought maybe there would be like a shimmer to it or something, but it definitely seems like just a, like a cream or a matte white. I mentioned in my last video that I don't have swatch sticks, so I'm just putting some swatches on the top of the lids. Now for the grand finale of this swatch party. Oh, this cherry pink is so nice. I was just obsessed when I swatched it. To me, it's just like a perfect everyday color. Like I would wear this on my nails as much as possible. <laughs> and yeah, I love it. And of course, I got some of the famous one, two, three, go full cover nails. The first set that I'm going to show you is the Extreme Square. And I had already filed the cuticle around this one for the demo. And it fits pretty well, except my thumb is a full 15 millimeters across and not all nail tips fit my thumb. So this one does not quite fit, but I should be able to just squeeze it on without it pinching my nail too much. The quality of these nail tips really stood out to me. It was somehow both strong and flexible. The inside is etched, that's why it looks like a soft matte. And yeah, just really impressed with the quality and the quantity. For comparison's sake, I took out my 3XL square from AliExpress, which I love the length of, but the apex on these is really flat in my opinion. And they're not always the most comfortable to wear. You can see that the extreme square is a little bit shorter, which is fine. I kind of wanted that. And it's really hard to see, but the apex on the e-nail nail tips is a little bit higher than the other one, which I like. Here I'm taking out some more nails for comparison, but this time we're going to compare these coffin tips from AliExpress to the 5XL coffin from e-nail. Oh, I'm so excited. I have been dreaming about these nails, okay? And they're finally here. I have so many of them. Uh, I cannot wait to put them on. Anyway, geeking out a little bit. This is probably my favorite shape of nail. I love a super pinched C-curve that's been really tapered into a coffin shape. And I think E-Nail just nailed the entire shape of this. And the apex is just perfect. And it also fits sidewall to sidewall, so yay. These are now officially the longest nails that I own. And I'm just really excited to see how I manage with them. Looking at just the thumb was not enough for me. I decided to take out another size to hold it on my nail just so that I could have another little pretend moment. And that's it for everything I got from eNail Couture Canada for my first order. Really, really impressed with the quality and packaging of everything. I can see myself maybe ordering a few more things in the future. I did my right hand off camera just to get a feel for how everything works. I used the cotton candy scented monomer for this hand, but the smell was kind of getting to me. So when I start my left hand, I actually switch back to the Young Nails monomer that I'm used to. I don't think that it's a bad product or anything. I just need some time to adjust to the scent. I'm applying the Extreme Square using the Femi Beauty method. I did super speed up this process. 
and I'm just going to let it roll through. Hopefully you enjoy the application process and I'll be back in a bit.
this set is coming together really quickly. Right now, I'm just adding a top coat to the underside. I also buffed and filed around the cuticles off camera. And when I flip the nails over, I'm going to go directly in with the top coat. I didn't put a base coat in between the layers and I didn't have any trouble with the top coat lifting up or anything. It bonded really nice to the one, two, three, go nails. You'll see me do a lot of cleanup because I'm trying really hard to not cure any product onto my skin. Before I cure the top coat, I always check it in the light to make sure that I didn't miss any spots and that I have enough on. And here I just went in with a little bit more just for good measure. Let's nourish our cuticles because they've had a big day, they've done a lot, and they deserve it. I know it's a really simple set, but that's what I wanted. And they were perfect. They were really easy to wear all week, really comfortable. I had no lifting, no breakage, and a lot more compliments than I usually get. <laughs> so I'm a big fan overall. I think that these are beautiful and I can see myself using this acrylic a lot. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. You are the absolute best. I appreciate it so much. Please like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.